Okay, so this is RetroPi 4.6 on the Raspberry Pi 4, 4 gig, uh, overclocked to 2147. Uh, now, when I went through um, and looked at what was available, I noticed that PPSSPP and also Dreamcast weren't available, even though I have the ROMs. Uh, and basically, it's because they're experimental builds. Uh, I've just watched ETA Prime's video, and he, he mentions about it. Um, and I looked through the list, and it, and it is actually supported on the Pi 4, even though it's in beta. Uh, but you have to install it manually. So if you go into RetroPie, and then go to RetroPie Setup, then we can go down to Manage Packages, and then Manage Experimental Packages. And you can see here, there's various things we can add on. So Redream is an excellent Dreamcast emulator. So let's click on that and click OK. And while we're at it, let's go back and let's look for PPSSPP. There's obviously other things in here. And so if there's something else that was missing that you wanted to try, uh, you need to look for that. I see Steam Link is there as well. All sorts of things can be added from this. So let's go back and back and we'll do reboot. Okay, so now you can see it's all rebooted and Dreamcast has been added to the list. So if I click on that, uh, we can see that we can play something like Tony Hawk's 2. And I haven't had to do any configuration with this. I don't think Redream needs BIOS files. But that said, uh, on my RetroPie stick, I have got a load of BIOS files on there, so it might just pick that up anyway. Okay, so the controller isn't automatically configured, uh, or some of the buttons are wrongly mapped. So if you press the Select button and go into Input, and you can see there's my Xbox 360 controller, just click on it and just check through these because my Start button wasn't configured, uh, and then configure that and then go back and back and resume game so let's just go straight in see how well it's working yeah and it looks like the buttons are right as well not sure if oh it looks like I haven't configured the grind button yeah, whichever one that is. Not that one. Okay, grind button's my shoulder button. So I'd need to configure that a bit differently, but as you can see, it's working fine. So let's try another game. So press select, go to games. And what else have I got on here? So I haven't played virtual tennis for quite some time. But Virtual Tennis tends to work really well in here. Yeah, that's working fine, nice and smooth. Let's just see if we can get a point. Oh, missed it. Okay, so one more game. Let's try, because I think Daytona doesn't tend to work that well for me. And I haven't changed any settings on here apart from the controller. Accelerator on, it's the triggers for accelerate on this. The steering's really twitchy, so I'd need to adjust that, but actually the, the game's running smooth. But it's really, like, I merely have to touch the analog stick, and he flies across. But yeah, that's, that's promising, because that performance is definitely better than I've had before uh, on this game. Okay, so I hope this helps. I need to find out where the PSP emulator is hiding. Uh, but thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.